A little coffee cake, some espresso. It's keto. What? Mmm. I'm so pumped. Wait. Mm. I'm so pumped to show you this recipe. It turned out so good, and I would highly recommend trying this. Hey, Sam, where did we get this recipe from? EatingEvolve.com. I did a couple tweaks on it just to make it fit my own taste, but you know what? Shout out to EatingEvolve.com for this awesome recipe. Thought I'd make a video on how to make it and show you guys how to make it. So, let's make some coffee cake. Let's do this. So this recipe is pretty much gonna be two layers. It's gonna be a crumb layer, and it's gonna be like a cake layer. And what we're gonna be assembling first is the cake layer. And of course, to make a keto cake, we're gonna be using coconut flour and almond flour here. There's a lot of cinnamon in this recipe. That's just coffee cake for you right there. Give it a quick stir. This is all the dry ingredients in one bowl. Break up any little chunks with your hands. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the wet ingredients. And I'm using some melted butter here. I switched the coconut oil out for some butter. And the sweetener that I'm choosing is Swerve. Uh, monk fruit is what's actually recommended in the recipe, but I don't personally like it. Also, a little bit of non-dairy milk. I'm using some coconut milk. So the eggs I'm using here, I took straight from the fridge and cracked it in this bowl. And that actually made some chunks and it kind of made it hard to stir. Probably should have got a bigger bowl. So... Yeah. So those chunks kind of stayed, but once I'd mixed in my dry ingredients, it was no problem and it ended up being super smooth, nice silky batter, no problem. Now with some butter, I'm gonna grease a loaf pan. And if you wanna do this thin on a sheet tray, you can also do that. Your oven time's gonna be different. I haven't tested that out yet. Anyways, give it a few taps to pop any big air bubbles in there. And we're gonna get another bowl and we're gonna start mixing up our streusel. Streusel. Up our streusel. Anyways, pretty much the same ingredients. Uh, boom, more cinnamon, of course. And we're gonna add some butter and a nut butter of your choice. Uh, in retrospect, I think I would do macadamia nut, but I have some peanut butter on hand with zero sugar in it, so that's what we're using. Make sure to wash your hands here because we are gonna be getting our hands dirty. We're gonna be mixing this up with our hands. It's way easier. You can use a fork if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, but whatever. So we need to get our hands in there and we need to actually break up the little butter chunks and the little chunks of streusel. We want a nice fluffy crumb. It's just way easier to do it with your hands. So you should always be tasting throughout your recipe. Um, as I'm tasting the streusel as I'm making it, I realized I forgot to put sweetener in there. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of swerve. Now you want the streusel nice and fluffy as possible, so get in there and break up the little chunks with your hands. And then we're just gonna layer it on top. Layer it on top. And that's gonna give us our second layer, our crumb layer. Go ahead and press that down because this thing's gonna rise and we want it all to rise in one piece and not break apart in two layers. So we're gonna put that in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. And when you can slide a toothpick in there and pull it out and it's nice and dry, that's when it's done. Now it's really important because there's so much butter and stuff in this recipe that you let this cool all the way and that's gonna help it kind of shrink and condense back and pull away from the pan. It's gonna make it a lot less sticky. So. 20 minutes minimum, let this cool. And in the meantime, you can get your coffee ready. So, let's do that. It just breaks apart, just like I remember coffee cake does. And while the color is a little bit darker, the flavor was there, and I am about this recipe. So I highly recommend you guys trying this. Share this video. If you think one of your friends would love it, send it to them. Use that little share icon down in the corner to send this video to someone you think would love it. As always, keep it keto and stay healthy, guys. Peace.